All right. Hey, everyone. How is it going? Uh, today, I wanted to show you my interpretation of uh, Morphologus's uh, huge overpowered ship. Um, I took a lot of inspiration from his build. In fact, I actually built his ship, and, but I decided that I wanted it to be bigger and have more stuff and basically be the biggest, baddest ship that you'd ever, ever seen. Uh, because I wanted to add things like a cargo deck and a brig to it, as well as expand the cargo capacity and the weapon systems. And I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to actually build this. So we're going to first start with the landing bay, which is, I'm going to do this slow because I'm using a controller. That way you all can see what I'm actually doing. So this is the ship bed 200 landing bay. This is the one that you don't need a ladder to go through. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach the Deimos Engineering Bay B to it. And then let's do our companion waves. So, companion bays, these are the Tayo companion bays. Um, specifically, I think it's the B? No, it's the mid, I'm sorry, it's the mid. Um, companion waves basically ensure that your ship is gonna have ladders only through the companion waves. And I'll explain why that's important in a minute. All right, so we have all the companion ways in let's go ahead and put the captain's quarters on top these are the hope tech captain's quarters and no it goes there um and this basically is going to show this is going to be a ship that's five decks tall you're going to have engineering uh you're going to have what i call the overflow deck but it's the cargo deck then you'll have habitation command and then bridge slash captain's living quarters and let's go ahead and build the rest of the uh, the bottom so what originally inspired inspire this build is that i wanted to put in a class c grab drive whereas morphologus he used a class b that was basically one deck tall instead of two and there was no way for me to upgrade that gra grab drive without an a looking stupid or b just not working out so that's what originally got me to upgrading this ship and then countless countless hours i spent refining it and adding to it and taking away from it and making it my own but morphologus he made such an amazing looking ship and uh, I thank him a lot because that's what inspired me to do this build right here. All right, we're gonna have these uh, H40 Atlas helium tanks attached to the side of the grab drive um, because a it makes sense you would have your grab drive attached directly to the fuel and be it um, I wanted to go overkill with basically everything on this ship and this these two combined with the um, with these helium tanks uh, it gave it about 1200 fuel I believe. And then next, let's f we're going to attach these Tayo Spine A's. And then we're going to follow up with a Demos Hole A and a Hope Tech Nose B4. Um, and this creates a little bit of a, in my head cannon, kind of like a, this is where the front sensors are. Now Tayo actually has a sensor mode excuse me a sensor module but um it didn't really look right with the aesthetic that i was going for um so that's why i'm leaving that out next we're going to have the caravel v102 cargo holds that go alongside the engineering bay and then at the back we're going to do these 200 cm ballast holds i'm using these because when i try using the 400s and i have 400s elsewhere on the ship it brought my mobility down to 99 as you can see at the bottom all my numbers are almost maxed out as to what you can get um and the 99 mobility really hit my ocd so i downgraded my uh my my cargo hit my cargo base and i upped my payload skill just so that i wouldn't lose any cargo by downgrading and keeping the silhouette of the ship intact all right next oh let's finish out the cargo base And then we'll move up to the next deck. All right, the next deck is the uh, overflow deck, which is which is which, this is where the uh, cargo bay is going to be located, as well as the brig and a bunch of storerooms. Now it is very 
very, very important. If you only want one ladder in your ship, you cannot make these companion ways. You have to make them storerooms. Companion ways spawns ladders, storerooms do not. So, and then over here, we're gonna have a control station. Um, kind of like as a redundancy or as like, I, I, like, I kind of consider this to be like the ship's library. So it's kind of like a hangout spot on the overflow deck. And then we'll have another storeroom here, followed by two more. Now these are going to connect to the brig. And these just go around the grab drive, as you can see. And then we'll do put the brig right here. And then the rest of the front will have a Deimos hole A there. Deimos belly four here. And then you're gonna wanna put an equipment plate. Hold on, let me separate these. Uh, I wanted, in his build, he did um, a very flat, uh, a flat looking uh, missile launcher. Uh, for this area because he called this like the Battlestar Galactica area the front where it opens up and you have the rocket launcher but um, I wanted to use the most advanced weapons available to me and in this case with the missile launchers it's the 280Cs um, they're the most powerful missile launcher in the game but they wouldn't fit in that situation so I just use the Tayo equipment plate and then attach the missile launcher to that. And as you and when you see when we do the rest of the ship, it'll fit very, very nicely to there. Um, let's go ahead and bring over the Stroud nose cap bees. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and put the landing gear over. The landing gear, uh, you want to be careful with what landing gear you do because these are the NG20s, which have four thrust and four. Well, actually, the four thrust is all you really care about because a ship that that's big is going to be very heavy, and a lot, and it's going to need a lot, either a lot of landing gear or some very powerful landing gear. Uh, this ship actually only needs about four of these sets, but I used eight because it just looks better uh, than to have like two sets of legs per area and not uh, just one. And this amount will ensure that um, it will all be okay. And I'm doing this slow because one, I'm using a controller because I'm a plebe. And two, it'll hopefully allow you to build this with me. You don't have to pause that much. All right, so the first part of the structure we'll do down here. These are the Deimos wings, just like he did. Um, oops, just like um, Morphologus did in his ship video. Um, I doubled them up because I doubled the decks. And I'll go over the weapons in a little bit because these are already pre-attached. Um, let's go ahead and move over. Uh, this is... Yeah, yeah, these are going to be the big cargo holds that will attach to this deck. Let's go ahead and grab the other side too. Oh, I might have gotten that wrong. Yeah, these go here and here. That's right. All right, and I believe that deck is done. So let's finish up the structure over here. Again, you could probably read these as I'm doing them if I'm not announcing what the parts are. Um, just read. <laughs> it's the best I can tell you. All right. Uh, so next, let's go ahead and do the habitation deck. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the living quarters. These are the Nova Galactic. I just think they look really nice. And then next to that, we'll do the 
Uh, the Tayo Science Lab, in my opinion, this is the best looking science lab. And before I forget, because I screwed this up the other time, let's go ahead and attach the other helium tanks. These helium tanks will go actually go into the engines. So in my head cannon, even though it says in the game, like, you know, regular engines don't need gas, these would fuel the, the main engines, and then these tanks down here fuels the grab drive. And put the other one like so. And then this is the... Wrong one. This is the Nova Galactic Infirmary. Uh, it's the best looking infirmary. I'm going to do a tour of this after I'm done. But it's it just looks really nice. And then we'll put that there and we'll get this out of the way. And we'll replicate on the other side. As you can see, we're using the radiators. Uh, Nova Galactic Workshop will attach to the science lab because you can research and then move right over and this and the nova glass workshop actually it looks like every every workshop has its own cubicle which i really really like that aesthetic um and then we'll attach that there that radiator and we'll put that cowling there and then let's go ahead and do the wings um, I'm gonna have to move this so uh, I'm gonna have to do the other side first all right so these are the Stroud um, Stroud caps um, which I use as the wings in the back side um, it's just it's basically the same piece you just have to flip it and reverse it a few times to get that nice clean look and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side and then And we'll do the rest of the front of the ship. Alright, there we go. Alright, so next we're gonna do this is gonna be the uh, habitation, the rest of the habitation deck. So here, actually, let's do the, we're gonna do the 2x3 mess hall from Stroud. Uh, Stroud and Deimos basically have the same habs, they're just gonna be a little. The color scheme's gonna be a little bit, except for the computer core, which you'll which you'll see. Uh, here we're gonna have the all-in-one birds by Stroud, the three by ones. I'm using the three by ones because it added more length to my ship, and I'm using two, and then I'm attaching the Stroud all-in-one berth B two by one because uh, this will basically give us twelve beds, and that's ensuring that everyone who's on the ship has a bed and i believe there's two or four more in the two by two nova galactic living quarters um and uh that'll ensure for passengers as well and then we're gonna put the deimos braking engines on the front and then we'll do the second set of wings above these And then I'll worry about the windows when we're almost done. Alright, that's that side done. And then let's do this side. I've probably spent 40 hours with this ship all together, ensuring that it looked good, that it functioned well. Like I said, Mephologus did a really good job with his. And. This is just my version of it. So we'll have the portholes attached to both sides of the mess hall, which to me just makes sense. All right, now time for, let's, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and put the battle stations down. This is the Hope Tech battle station. This is my favorite battle station because it actually looks like a submarine S uh, CIC. Uh, with the darkness and with all the control stations and it looked really nice. Uh, Nova Galactic Armory, in my opinion, is the most realistic looking armory that there is. Uh, and then we'll do the Deimos computer core down the middle. And then we'll do the rest of the top part of the spine down this way. Here and here. You must hold A's. You could probably put, like, you know, actual habs in if you want to. I, I just thought that, you know, this looked well, especially with the striping that was going on. Alright, and then the dam is calling four, and that creates the Battlestar Galactica area uh, that Morphologus talked about when he made his. 
And then let's go ahead and do some more of the structures. These are the demo spine A's, which go here, I believe. Yes. Spine D, and then you just replicate it for the other on the other side. Move you here. This is actually my second attempt at this video. My first one was a disaster because I I forgot where a lot of stuff went when I disassembled it. So I actually had to like redo my own ship just to remember how it went. All right, and then let's do the best bridge in the game, the Ares Bridge, DS40.2. Eight crew stations, and that goes up here, neck attached to the captain's quarters, and then we don't have that much left to do. Uh, basically, let's finish up the captain's quarters. So these are the Deimos bumper mids that I'm doing on top, just like his build. And then we'll ha we're gonna have the SG-1800 shield generator, best shield generator in the game. The slim docker on top. And then the aft porthole will be right there. And then right below that is going to be the Pinch 8C Reactor. This is the most advanced Class C Reactor in the game. And it's going to go right there. And then we're going to finish off that back section with a Hope Tech Riser. Okay. And all that's left now is basically the engines. So we're going to put two of these cowlings. One's going to attach here to the armory. And the other one is going to attach to the... Uh, back of the battle stations and then we're gonna put some holes underneath now one of the big liberties that I took with this build is the engines that's the demos belly aft section right there um, because I wanted the most powerful whip engines I can get and it took me a very long time to figure out what combination was good for me um, and I basically came up with, let me finish these structural parts, Demos Belly Afs and Fours, and then I'll talk about the engines a little bit before I put them on. So if you, as you can see, the belly went underneath the infirmary. Like I said, this is slow enough to where I think you should be able to catch on while I'm doing it. Okay. And all that's left now are the rest of the portholes and the engines. So for engines, I am using two Sal-6 A30 engines on the outsides. This gives us 18,000 thrust and 8,800 thrust. But the most important part of this is the max power of two. So you could have six of these bad boys on your ship, or you could do what I did and you want to incorporate the most advanced engine in the game, and that is the Poseidon DT230s. 34,520 engine thrust, 11.6 maneuvering thrust, max power 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8, and then 2 plus 2 is 4, that's 12, that is the most that you can put on the ship. And that is where we get our insane mobility from. So we're going to put the sails on the outside right here. Make sure that lines up with your belly. And then right next to it, we're going to put the Poseidons. They'll attach right about there next to the reactor. And then we'll put this right... Make sure that's lined. And then this. And then the last one. And then there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and just put these portholes back where they were. I basically did two for the sides, two for the tops. These are going to the all-in-ones. And then these two, because I am a sucker for having... This ship has the most amount of modules, too. This is 130 modules, and you cannot have any more to it. So I put a window at the bottom of the uh, ladder, so that when you're going to the ladder, you see the bottom. And then I put the other one at the other end of the chair. That's it. All right, so weaponry. So, the missile launchers, I have three. These are the AT-LATL-280C missile launchers. 
look you could just look at that damage these are the most powerful launchers in the game and i have three uh because i wanted everything to be max basically so i have the first one here and then the other two are on top of these spines uh the next weapons i have are the pb-300 alpha beams um i use these instead of the obliterators because the obliterators are max power of four so you can only put three on there and with the aesthetics of the ship having three wouldn't really look right because i'd have to put one up top here and i didn't want to do that my other option was putting one here but that goes in the view of the bridge so these ones are the next best because um they because the amount of damage is lower but because you put more there the damage is virtually identical um and then i have them placed here at the front and the next ones that I have are the auto alpha beams, the PB-3000s. These are fire rate of four, so these are the faster firing versions. So the way I have it is that on the outsides and the rear are going to be my faster, less powerful particle beam weapons. And then these four are my slower but more powerful particle beam weapons. And then to finish off or to one shot, I have these missile launchers down here. Um, as you can see, reactor power is 4, equip is 60. Uh, if you get Andertronic Fusion up to max, it'll be 48 reactor, and you will basically be an unstoppable uh, person with this ship. Um, now, that's it for the building. Now we're going to go on to the tour of the interior of the ship. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to tour the inside of this ship. Um, and I'll explain to you what's, why I picked some of the halves. Um, most of the stuff, I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, you can do at your settlement landing pad. It's specifically a lot of the um, structural components. But, I mean, I'm not the greatest at explaining where I get some things. But um, just make sure you have about 500,000 credits to, <laughs> to before you build the ship. So, so but... Anyway, let's go ahead and tour this bad boy. I call it the Enterprise because I love Star Trek and everything to me is the Enterprise. You are very loud back there. All right, let's go inside. We're gonna, this takes us right into the engineering deck, um, which it's just one half. Um, and here it is. This is, as I forget who said it, it might've been, D limited or DF Gis, I think his name is. I don't I don't remember. I don't remember some YouTubers names, but someone said this is the most Star Trek y looking one. And I I do agree. And I like this one a lot because all the other ones kind of look like like a sh like a cruise ship engineering area. Which I mean I guess it would make sense, but anyways, whatever. Alright, so and like I said, if you use the companion ways going up up, oh, yep, there's that. There's the bottom port. You can see, you know, that's the actual ground of the planet that we're on. And I got another one over here. So, companion ways. One, two, three, four, five decks. And this is the only ladder in the entire ship. So let's go on up to what I call the overflow deck, which is basically the cargo deck. And these are the Tayo uh companion ways i really liked them because they had this nice shelling over here and they actually had like um combustibles over here i don't know why is my why is my fps down oh well all right and then this is the uh nova this is the i believe it's the nova galactic uh, cargo deck it's the two by two it just looks really Used like all the other ones kind of look like lower flight storerooms in my opinion um, But this one actually has it's like compartmentalized, which I really really like All right, so and then over here is the uh, Control room and in my head canon. This is kind of um, I, This would be like the ship's library So people could come in here. They could like use these computers um, connect to the internet or whatever the, it's called in 2330 um, and then this is attached to a Stroud Eklund storeroom which 
you know, right here, this would contain any overflow or any extra computer supplies uh, that you might need. And then going through the uh, cargo hall, you'll get to this storeroom, which I tried using this as a companion room or a companion way. And this is how I discovered the difference between storerooms and companion ways. This as a companion way removes one of the doors from the main companion ways and puts a ladder right here up to the mess hall and I could not fix it at all until I discovered that if this was a storeroom that doesn't happen so remember storerooms to walk through companion ways to climb up through all right now this is the brig uh, this is, I believe, the Stroud Eklund Brig, and the Damos Brig looks exactly the same. To me, this is just the most official looking brig. Uh, you have two brig cells, each with two beds. Uh, this is kind of like a check-in desk, and then this is like administration, kind of. And then I have the other storerooms on this deck over here as well, uh, which, you know, it could have evidence, it could have, uh, or just more overflow storage on the deck. And one there, and then the other one's over here. Hi, Sarah. And that's it for this deck. This is a completely original deck. This is an on Morphologus's original one. This was, this is the deck that I made myself when I increased the size of the ship a deck taller uh, to compensate to have that uh, grab drive in. Oh no! Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna boost pack up this way because I just don't want to. Alright, so the cargo deck is where we were, the next one is the habitation deck. Now one of the freedoms that I took um, in my build was I, I changed out the habs to different manufacturers because of, I like the interiors a lot better. Um, so this one is the Nova Galactic interior. I really like this interior because it has basically everything. Um, it has a desk, it has a pool table, a kitchenette, it has an area to lift weights, and my favorite part is a TV with a living room and couches. And also some beds, uh, two beds, or slash couches that you can use. I love this hab, it's one of my favorites. Um, and then you can Some come over here. Their hometown. I know, Sam, I know. Come over here and this is the infirmary. This is the Nova Galactic again, I believe. The no yeah, as you can see, it says Nova Galactic right there. Um, just look at these, bio the I call them bio beds because of Star Trek, but just look, it just, it just, if I'm gonna get sick on a ship, this is where I wanna be. And we go to the other side of the uh, deck, and this is the Tayo Science Lab. So you can research, do your research right here, your pharmaceuticals, you can do pharmaceuticals in that one as well. And then if you want to build your stuff, you go over to this workshop. And like I said, it's almost like each area has a cubicle, almost. You have your spacesuit here, your weapons, your industrial. It, it, it just looks really nice. And then going through the science lab, you'll get to the mess hall, which is the Stroud Eklund mess hall. Pretty official looking. Um, I was, it was either this or Hope Tech, I believe, because of this room that I'm looking at right here. Um, this room, well, actually, the Hope Tech will actually have a couch right here. So you could watch TV basically in this room. Um, the Stroud Eklund one had one in this corner, but because there's a door here, it got removed. But I opted since there's already like a living room TV area in the in the in the two by two. I'd rather have a, a mess hall with like an officer's mess. This is where I think that you know Sarah, Androja, Barrett. Uh, Sam and you know well obviously it's only four but you could probably pull up a seat uh, the bunch of y'all could eat and then all the other you know your all the other hired crew would eat out here where did you come from 
Okay, you're in my way. Okay. Now we're going into the Stroud. These are the 3x1 Holland ones. These just look better than the actual, like, 2x1 or 3x1 living quarters. You have four beds in each one. You know, they're bunks. They have these little partitions that slide down to give you privacy. You have your little table over here and some darts. Come over here. This is the 2x1. Again, four beds. And then you come over here, and this is another 3x1. And again, four beds. So you have a total of 12 beds in here, two in the living quarters. And if you want to count of the brig, I got four more down there. So you have enough to basically sleep uh, 18 people. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, plus the captain's quarters, which is 19 or 20, whether or not you romance someone or not. Here is one side of the uh, porthole. And then uh, over here, and the mess hall storage area is another one. Points if you can guess what planet I'm on. All right. So next we're gonna go up to the command deck, as Morphologus called it. And I'm gonna show you why this is one of my favorite habs. So this is the Hope Tech battle stations. I freaking love this deck because it's dark. It's got a lot of crew stations for a lot of information. Uh, it, it's the navigation console is kind of in a weird place, but um, I liken this to kind of like this would be like a three-dimensional battlefield display. Hello, Captain. Um, hello. And it, it just looks good. How's it going? Like. Like, it's going good. Thank you very much. Um, if you go over here... It is here. a beautiful day, huh? Okay, can you all stop talking to me? I'm trying to do a tour. Alright. Like, you could, for example, you can have... Like, you know, if this was a real, like, you, like, U.S. Navy ship, this would be, like, the drone area. These are, like, weapon stations. It just, it just looks really nice. And then over here is the Deimos computer. I'm working hard, Captain! Is the Deimos computer room. Um, this is actually unique from the from the Stroud Eklund one, and it, this just looks really. This is the best looking one in my opinion. And the armory oh, yeah. is over here, and yeah, this is the only armory. I think it's the Nova Galactic. I got hey, a Kevin. lot of people on this ship. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I forgot. I'm supposed to be taking these homesteaders to a new uh, to a new home. Ah, appreciate okay. the lift, Ken. Yeah, well, I forgot about you, so never mind. Um, this armory has a lot of weapons cases, it's got racks, and it's the only one that actually has um, air, mannequins for How's your spacesuits. Alright, and then the last deck... Good day, Captain. Good day. ...is the bridge deck. And you come through the living quarters, or I mean, sorry, the captain's quarters. Uh, there's your bed and your companion and your room, your... Uh, romance's bed and then this is kind of like a ready room area or a briefing room which comes off the deck and the reason why I don't mind the navigation console and the battle station so much is because the middle one is here and this navigation console is right smack in the middle it's like, just like you know Battlestar Galactica and then you have these little rooms over here this is where your cargo uh, that's a spoiler sorry um, captain's lockers here, and then you'll have three jump seats here, uh, and then you have two more jump seats, and this is, uh, this is your navigation console. So, okay, or, uh, your, your pilot seat. Alright, and that's it. I hope you liked it. I know this is a little long, but, uh, if you like this ship, uh, feel free to build it. Alright, bye-bye.